Transboundary haze pollution from land and forest fire has been a reoccurring environmental issue for this region for decades. Last week, Singapore air quality reaches unhealthy level, mainly due to the returning haze. We've been monitoring very closely the regional haze situation and hotspot activities in Rio and Kalimantan. Unfortunately, the haze situation in Singapore is likely to continue in the next couple of days, or even get worse. This is mainly because the weather condition is expected to remain dry in this region and the hotspots activities on the ground are unlikely to improve. So if the wind direction is unfavorable, Singapore will continue experiencing haze. The SWIA has been working on the transboundary haze issue since the 1997, the very first haze crisis in this region. The causes of the case are very complex. Early this year, we started um, research and developed a special report on the haze outlook for Southern Asia. We anticipated the possibility of the haze returning to this region this year. So based on the study, there are three main factors that cause the haze. First of all, extreme weather condition. Secondly, degraded peatland, which is very likely to burn again. Last but not the least important, people. Forest fires in this region are mostly man-made events. Having said that, there are two sides of people. People who start the fire and people who help prevent and fight the fire. So at the stage, we should not start pointing the fingers and blaming the people on the ground. So currently, the satellite data shows that most of the hotspots and fires are found in Indonesia. But according to the satellite data, the, the majority of the fire started on nomad land, not belonging to large companies or the communities. So there is no evidence that the big companies should be responsible for the burning for the fire. We also need to recognize that the government is really working on peatland restoration and also putting off the fire. Some of the companies are working with the government to put out the fire and even beyond the concession land. So to prevent haze, first of all, strong leadership is definitely required. Indonesia is making an effort and the President Jokowi has made this a priority since his first term. But with the haze returning this year, the efforts seem not sufficient. We hope Jokowi in his second term could maintain and also intensify the efforts, demonstrating real strong leadership in stopping the transboundary haze. Secondly, plantation companies, they should do more and they can do more. To prevent the haze, there is increased urgency for the agroforestry sector to work together to prioritize sustainable production. They need to really work and engage the communities to increase the resource in firefighting and also to help the government agencies to restore the peatland. Lastly, achieving sustainability is not just the responsibility of government or the plantation companies. Sustainable Production and sustainable consumption should go hand in hand. As we are here based in Singapore to prevent haze, we should also increase the awareness of sustainable products available on the markets. Rather than boycotting the entire palm oil industry, we should be aware of sustainable palm oil and to support sustainable palm oil and also to incentivize the market uptake of sustainable commodities.